guys welcome or welcome back to my channel no your eyes do not deceive you i am not in my studio filming this video gotta be honest with you not starting 2023 off to a good start on the youtube channel clearly um the week just got away from me i've been planning my son's first birthday party i was just very busy with my full-time job and here we are and I, I don't have a video for a Sunday. I'm gonna film like a little updated jewelry video. I feel like this is my favorite go-to video. This and like a what's in my bag. I wanted to preface this by saying you might hear my son a little bit. See, also please excuse the disaster that is behind me. Uh, my Christmas tree still up. We're, we're heading into the year chaotic and it's fine. I also filmed a video trying to do this and it was all out of focus. So if you see me staring to like make sure that my camera is in focus, I do apologize, um, but I don't want to have another blurry video. I'm just using my Canon G7X tried and true. We love her. Um, and this is going to be a very casual video. I'm just going to talk about the jewelry that I wear every day. I do have one piece that just recently shipped that's coming to me, so it will be in addition to my everyday jewelry. Um, I will pop a photo. Well, actually, I can't even show you a photo of it because it's a custom piece, but I'll talk about it when we get to my bracelets because it is a bracelet. I like to mix metals. I am a yellow gold and sterling girly. Uh, rose gold, not really my thing anymore. Let's start off with ring. Of course, we have my wedding set. So this is my engagement ring. Obviously, you've seen it a million times. This is actually not my actual wedding bands because I have a double banded jacket, which means that this would sit in between the double bands. It doesn't fit my finger right now. I have to get it sized. It's fine. So I've just been using this one. I mean, it's literally from Amazon. It works. It does the job. On this hand, I have my... <laughs> you can hear my son. I have my love wedding band. That was a push present from my son to myself last January. So I've had that for a year. I wear it every single day. And this one is the normal size yellow gold love ring. It was a present from myself to myself for my 26th birthday. I did also have the Justin Clue for a couple of days. It was a small model. I went to Cartier. I got sized properly. I slept in it one night and it left a huge welt on my finger. So it like, I mean, this finger was like swollen red. I literally had a welt where the nail head was digging in. And so that ring is, it's just not for me. It's fine. It's known to dig in. I didn't think it would be a problem. It wouldn't have been a problem. It wasn't like overly uncomfortable or anything. It was just, my finger didn't like it. So the Justin Clue will not be for me. That's fine. I might end up getting like a Trinity in the small model. We'll see what, what takes where the theater takes me, but I'm not in any rush. So I still have the same number of piercings that I had like the last time I did a jewelry update, but I do have an appointment in February to get more. So for now, I have this solid gold hoop. I've had this for years. I never take it out. It just stays here. It's perfect. It goes with any other earring. These I switch out pretty much on the daily. I don't sleep with anything in the first hole. These ones are literally just from Amazon. They're like a hollow tube, so they're very lightweight and very comfortable. You can't even really tell that you're wearing them. And then I also just brought out a couple of other ones that I love because these are like the, I would say what I switch out the most in my daily jewelry just because it's so easy to do so. So these ones are from, hopefully that's focused. I can't even tell, honestly. These ones are from H&M. I love them. They're just like, a little hoop it's very odd for some reason this year i have been able to wear like cheap earrings and i'm not complaining because literally life-changing uh these are also from h&m they're just like a smaller hoop and then lastly these ones are from amazon i really really like these ones they're like balloon looking almost it's not focusing it's focusing on my bracelets I think that's in focus. Um, I love these. They're like more of a U shape and they're just chunky and cute. So I would say those are my four like most worn in the first hole that I just like to switch out every day. And then for necklaces, these literally never come off. So this one I wore on my wedding day. So I've had it obviously for years. This is like a little end necklace. I've worn this every single day since my son was a week old. I have never taken it off and I have no intentions of doing so. I just love the way that you can stack dainty necklaces and it still doesn't look like too much. 
I am thinking about adding one more necklace. I'm not sure if it's gonna be from Cartier or maybe Tiffany. Last up, we have bracelets. This is what I have the most of. So, like I said, I do have a new bracelet coming in the mail. It is a sterling silver chain and it has a diamond nameplate on it that says no way kind of like the louis vuitton petite no way uh, if you don't know the backstory i'll give it to you very quickly i bought a petite no way when i was pregnant with my son i named my son noah i later found out that the petite no way literally translated to little noah and that is why i will never sell my petite no way even if i'm not using it because it has sentimental value and so no way is obviously noah in french and that just like has a special place in my heart so i did go ahead and get that also i like to mix my metals and I felt like I needed a silver piece to kind of balance things out. I think it's going to go on this hand, so we'll start with this one. This is just a Louis Vuitton bracelet. I got it when I was in New York City. This is monogram. It looks black on the camera for some reason, but it is monogram. And then it has like this little gold piece. This is brass gold plated brass so it will eventually tarnish it has actually tarnished i will admit a little bit Ooh. Dad, dad. what about mama hi baby say hi say i will be one year old in less than two weeks oh my goodness he is so mobile ever since he started crawling i just can't contain him he's wild so anyway this oh no <laughs> well Hey, let that go. This bracelet, uh, I don't wear in the shower. I think the tarnishing has mainly come from me washing my hands with it on because I don't wear it in the shower or anything. I do sleep with it on. It doesn't bother me. The biggest downfall to this, honestly, is that from far away, it looks like I'm wearing a hair tie on my wrist, and that is my biggest pet peeve. I hate the look of hair ties on a wrist. I feel like it just ruins, like... Any look that you're wearing, whether it be casual or not, like literally I'm in this hoodie, but this looking like a hair tie drives me insane. And I did not think about that, but I'll never get rid of this because I got it when I was in New York City. It was my very first New York City trip. I was at the Louis Vuitton on Fifth Avenue when I got it. And so, yeah, it's staying. Also on that wrist, I have a newer piece, solid yellow gold chain. And it has a little diamond N on it. I will show you in a second. This little baby is being crazy. I just can't sit still. As you can see, it, being a mom is chaotic, okay? These kids, when they start moving, they never stop. Let's quickly finish this video. So this is the bracelet I was just talking about. You can see it's a diamond N and then a yellow gold chain. Super cute. I'm going to have to rush through the rest of this because my son is getting very antsy. But I have this bracelet. I got it at the beach. It's obviously a Damon Yerman dupe. David Yerman dupe. Uh, I love it. It does come off when I go to sleep or when I shower, mainly just because it's uncomfortable. Um, but it's like sterling. And then eventually I'm sure this gold will turn to sterling as well i also have this beaded bracelet you've seen it a million times it is gold and white gold alternating i love it this one this thicker one here this is from anna louisa it's great i shower in it uh it does have a little bit of tarnishing on this portion but the bracelet itself does not have any tarnishing and it is plated sterling so it'll just turn to sterling which is totally fine this is a diamond tennis bracelet that I got from Etsy. Super dainty and cute. I really, really like it. And this one is a newer purchase from Etsy. It just says penicillin and it has a little diamond. I know this is a very odd way to show an allergy and maybe someone wouldn't even look at it, but I don't know. I just feel better knowing that I have it on my wrist and this is solid gold, so it's never gonna tarnish. I just felt like this was a very casual video for me to do. I feel like people like me who film in a studio, sometimes it feels more like a production and it's nice to just sit here and do like a casual video as well, kind of throw it in the mix. This is obviously what I used to do when I started my channel and as proud as I am of my setup and as thankful as I am for my dad and my stepmom who first of all let me build a studio in my childhood bedroom but also like helped me build it. My dad is always working on new lighting. It's just I'm so blessed and so grateful to even have that opportunity to elevate my channel. And so I'm not taking away from that at all and that's absolutely the direction I still want to go. 
but it is nice to just sit here and throw in like a very casual one-on-one -on -one video i feel like maybe i should do a youtube live sometime because it kind of gets this vibe and i can do it from anywhere and yeah so i might do that if you guys are interested in that let me know maybe i could even talk about my 2023 um goals and is designer dead and are we in a low buy year or no buy year if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one and until next time